I'm going to ask you a series of basic questions to get facts out to the American people about our system of justice. Trump advisor Roger Stone was convicted in a federal court, correct? Uh, that's my recollection. Trump donor Elliot Brady was convicted in a federal court, correct? Uh, also my recollection. The attorney general at the time for those two convictions was Bill Barr. Which president nominated Bill Barr for attorney general? Uh, president Trump. Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, was convicted on two separate occasions in a federal court, correct? Uh, I believe that's correct. The attorney general at the time for Cohen's second conviction was Matthew Whitaker. Which president appointed Matthew Whitaker as acting attorney general? Uh, president Trump. Okay. Trump's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, was convicted in a federal court, correct? Yes. Trump's former deputy campaign manager, Mr. Gates, was convicted in a federal court, correct? That's my recollection. Trump's campaign foreign policy advisor, George Papadopoulos, was convicted in a federal court, correct? Uh, yes, I think he, yeah, he pled guilty, yes. The attorney general at the time of those three cases was Jeff Sessions. Which president nominated Jeff Sessions for attorney general? President Trump. Okay. You were the FBI director for all of those cases at the time. Which president nominated you? President Trump. Okay. What these facts show is we don't have a two-tiered system of justice. We have one Department of Justice that goes after criminals regardless of party ideology. All of these folks were convicted under the administrations of three separate Republican attorneys general. It is not the fault of the FBI that Donald Trump surrounded himself with criminals. Donald Trump brought that upon himself. Just let that breathe for a second. Uh, Democrat Congressman Ted Lieu with that exchange with FBI Director Christopher Wray during a hearing before the House Judiciary Committee. And, wow. and